The thing that we struggle with the most, and, and I think a lot of teams do too, if, if you're going to draw a line from obviously the rim to the other, uh, uh, the other end's rim right there and call that the midline right now, whenever a ball screen occurs on one side of the floor, it makes no difference how you guard it, whether you hedge it, whether you trap it, whether you, you, you switch it, whether you uh, ice it or down it, you got to get all your defenders on the weak side to jump to that midline. Okay, and, and, and not even worrying about tagging a guy or bumping a guy right now. Everybody's got to get over there. So, so we, we do a little ball screen drill that's, that's uh, actually pretty good for us in that we'll play two on two. So you got a big here offensively and you got a guard and you got a big here offensively and you got a guard. And these guys can go wherever they want to go. You can set an inside screen, you can set a, a butt screen, you can set a, 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 a up and under screen. It makes no difference to us what you do. But on one side of the floor, we've worked really hard on trying to ice that. So we'll play it as much as we possibly can. Head up here defensively, all right, when that ball screen occurs. When he's coming out there, as soon as he's yelled screen, all right, or he's going to yell down. He's going to yell down, and that means we're going to jump, jump on the side right here, Take his shoulder away where he, where he hopefully he can't go middle and force him to dribble this way and then go over that screen. Okay, even if even if it's a, a screen to set underneath at this angle, we're going to jump it as he dribbles off. We'll fight through it right here. This big guy will then basically flat hedge it or maybe hedge it with a step towards the ball right there at this angle right here. If you flat hedge it all the way down, he can drag it and they can pick and pop here and you got a four man shooting an uncontested three. But but try to try to. As he comes off right there, try to go it more at this angle to cut him off. And then everybody on the weak side, no matter where you're guarding, loads up, gets on this side of the midline, and let's say they play to a pocket pass here, no matter what they do, this guy that's got the nail, or really the equivalent of the nail at the top of the key, he bluffs, hey, gets back with his hand in the passing lane, and this guy obviously will look to, t t uh, uh, to take him if he rolls and goes down the lane and tag him right there, and then our bigs can actually switch out of it.